with you wherever you are. If you're pregnant, congratulations. This month in Yango got you because we're talking all about pregnancy this month. So stick with us either on Facebook or YouTube. Just join us. Okay, so I'm going to be telling you today a bit about complications that might come up during your first trimester. If you're trying to conceive, I would like to beg you to also try to incorporate a healthy lifestyle and try to eat clean, try to take your prenatal vitamins. And if you're already pregnant, I hope you've started seeing your doctor because this is very, very important. So let me tell you something. During the first trimester of your pregnancy this is when most of the baby's parts are forming and this is one of the most delicate periods during your pregnancy the first and the third trimester are the most delicate so you have to try as much as possible to be guided to be aware of what can go wrong so that you know exactly what to do if something happens now i'm going to be telling you about some complications which might come up during your first trimester of pregnancy the first one which might occur is blighted ovum this is a case where the sac which the baby is supposed to be inside actually forms but no baby forms inside in this case the blighted ovum is supposed to be flushed because if not it can cause other complications another thing which usually happens during pregnancy is bleeding a lot of women consider bleeding as normal but if you see any form of bleeding during pregnancy please consult your doctor so they can confirm if it is normal or not another thing which usually happens which most of us see it as normal is vomiting vomiting is normal but when it gets to severe vomiting it can lead to dehydration and can be dangerous for you and your baby since your baby might not be getting enough nutrients as they need and you yourself might not be getting enough nutrients now the next thing which usually happens is miscarriage or spontaneous abortion this is the case where your fetus comes out without you inducing it or doing it voluntarily so in this case, this is one of the reasons why you have to take your folic acid, you have to visit your doctor as fast as possible. Because if you're not doing all the right things you're supposed to do, a miscarriage might occur and then you start blaming yourself, which wasn't really your fault. So, miscarriage is one of the other conditions which occur during the first week of pregnancy, which you can prevent. Now, the next thing which usually occurs is a topic pregnancy. This is a case where the pregnancy occurs in a position which is not supposed to be occur, usually in the fallopian tubes. A symptom some of this is pain on your left side or on either side of your of your abdomen and dizziness fainting and all so if you feel any of these symptoms or you're pregnant please see your doctor now the next thing is molar pregnancy molar pregnancy usually occurs when the either the egg or the placenta doesn't develop the way it's supposed to develop all these complications can be prevented if you go see your doctor as fast as possible 